Nick the Tech Guru here again. I'm going to be going over the Slingbox Pro HD and the Solo Slingboxes. I'm going to be comparing both of them, going over some of the requirements that you uh, need to be able to use these devices, and you know, basically just, just covering you know questions that you guys may have when you inquire to either buy buy this product or uh, plan on using it in the future. So to start off. The main thing you've got to have is very, very fast internet. Mainly upload speed. If you do not have the upload speed even near what they uh, recommend, you shouldn't even look at this product because you are going to get a very, very poor experience trying to use this software um, and their hardware devices. So I'm going to scroll down here. Um, I would say if you do not have 1200 um, K kilobytes per second upload speed then if you don't even have that you might as well not even purchase the, this device even though it says high quality there if if you just say you barely had the minimal upload speed your experience with this device is going to be terrible you're going to have a lot of buffering issues you're going to have issues just watching watching views in general with quality because it's going to be all um, stuttering a lot a lot of pixelation and it's just really not going to be worth the money you're going to be putting into this device because remember this device uh, I believe the solo is about 170 bucks and the Pro HD is 300 I happen to get both of mine on sale this weekend um, for like pretty much about 30 to 40 percent off I'm going to be taking back my solo just because I don't really like the quality of it and I want HD so I'm going to be keeping my Pro HD version so I'll be uploading some videos of those pretty quick um, over these next few days, so do stay tuned to that. But okay, back to the, the quality settings here. Um, upload speeds for your you know, quality. If if you don't have these upload speed, um, your just experience is going to be poor. My speeds that I'm using at the location of the sling box, we have uh, Charger High Speed Internet cable. We have 30 down, four up which is way above what they recommend and uh, at my location where I'm going to be downloading the video because it, it uploads as you can see from here it uploads from here it sends it to your router uploads basically to the cloud and um, it's going to come download and send to uh, wherever you're at you know your device so it's all dependent on your upload speeds and you know just if you I mean, I can't emphasize this enough. You have to have this upload speed at minimum, or your experience is just going to be terrible. I I'm going to be putting out some videos um, over 3G, 4G, and over Wi-Fi with mobile devices, so you'll be able to see the quality that way. Um, I'll be including these links in the video if you guys want to read more, because I'm not going to show all the information here. But do remember, um, it you will have options for your mobile devices like the iPad. Um, Android phones, iPhones. Uh, it will say HD quality even though you're using the Solo. It's it's basically just going to have you a uh, better, a little better um, picture quality. It's not actually going to be HD as they say. It's just going to be a little bit higher quality above uh, standard definition. So, but if you have the Pro HD, you will see a noticeable difference. Um, either using the Sling Player application. Um, on the Windows PCs or you know on the iPad, Android, you know all those devices. So your download speed that you need um, for high quality is 800 uh, kilobytes per second, which is not a lot. I mean, you have a high-speed data connection these days. You're pretty much going to have that. I mean, um, you're not going to have any issues with that at all. You know, mainly where you're going to run into the issues with that is is on mobile devices like a phone, um, tablet, you know, that type of thing when you're out and about. So, 1200, uh, basically 1.2 megs um, for high quality when you're at home. They recommend at minimum. That's when you're at Wi-Fi hotspots or you know in your house, um, that type of thing. So I'm pretty sure I covered most of the network um, network requirements for this device. For the Slingbox itself, some of the differences. The Slingbox, you know, you get standard definition. You can only connect one standard definition or high definition. I mean, if you connect to high definition, you're not going to get the high def you're looking for. 
Um, and you know, it can be a set top box, uh, DVR, DVD player, media center type thing. You can watch from one recorded device, um, smartphones, tablets, those type of things, and you can watch from any TV. Um, rec you can watch recorded TV from any PC or Mac. And uh, with the slow, yeah, like I said, you're only you're limited to high, uh, standard definition. But with the Pro HD, you're getting uh, you're going to be able to hook up three different devices, and you can switch inputs anytime you want to. You know, watch the different devices. Comes with a built-in tuner, which is only for over-the-air channels. You can't hook up your um, receiver. I mean, you can't hook up directly from your satellite. Um, if you have satellite TV, you can't hook up directly to that into the bag and be able to play it. You have to still go through your receiver like normal. It's just for over-the-air channel. That's what these uh, are for. There. Um, you can have a built-in tuner, which avoids conflict with the viewers at home. Like I said, from what I understanding, it's only over-the-air channels, like the local channels you get. It's not the encrypted signal you get from uh, your satellite you have out on your uh, roof. It's just the local channels because those are unencrypted, unencrypted, and it has options for digital audio. Um, besides that, it's really not a whole big difference. I mean, the main thing you're getting is high definition, and if high definition is your thing, this you don't even look at the solo because um, you're not going to get a good picture quality. You're going to get subpar quality. Um, it's going to be below DVD quality. It's going to be pretty pixelated. I mean, it is watchable if if that's your thing, but if you're if you're set on HD, then then stick with the HD. Um, you know, the Slingbox Pro HD. And uh, back, some more specifications here. Um, the box contents. I'm going to be doing an unboxing to show you what it comes with. Uh, it shows you your different device that you're going to be able to do. So I've showed you different, uh, you know, the requirements you need. How the Slingbox works. It takes a signal from your receiver in your house. It sends it through the sling box, and then your sling box outputs it back to your TV. So that's kind of kind of how it all works. It's basically a sling box is a pass through, and then it sends it out onto the internet and sends it to your account. and And you log into your account on the different devices, and you will be able to um, watch TV anywhere. There's one note I do want to make you aware of is if somebody changes the channel on the receiver the channel is going to change on whatever you're watching unless you have two tuners in your receiver so you'd have to hook up your sling box to the second tuner and, and you wouldn't conflict at all but I know a lot of people I know only have one tuner in their receiver so you do have to pay attention to that to be able to change the channel um, the sling boxes come with a IR blaster, so this is basically acts as your remote. It'll send the signal through this IR blaster into your receiver. You just point it towards the receiver. You just got to hook it up correctly, and it'll send the signal just like it would you would your remote. And the channels will change, and um, you know that takes care of that. So, if there's anything I'm missing in this video, you guys have any other questions or concerns, just please leave it in the comment below, uh, comment box below. I will make sure I answer all your questions. I'll upload more videos uh, to clarify anything that you guys might need clarified. So just stay tuned for more Slingbox videos. I have a lot more coming, and I look forward to uh, putting some more out there for you guys. So stay tuned.